police are still keeping my son. <laughs> I went there today. They refused to give me listening yet. Please, Your Majesty. I'm, I'm doing something about it. Before this weekend, your son and every other person that is in that police custody will be released. Hmm? Your Majesty, please. Please, I beg in the name of God. Try and do something. He is my only surviving son, please. But I already told you that I'm doing something about it. Eh? See, woman, I understand your plight. Eh? I promise you, before this weekend, very soon, your son will return to you. Eh? Uh -huh. You may go. Thank you, sir, Minister. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. All right. <clears throat> So, how did it go? They refused to release the boys. Why? I don't know, but... Um, from their body language and response, I, I believe someone is somewhere talking to them. Telling them what to do. And that thing that they want to do is to send them to jail. What? Yeah, that's what I discovered. And if urgent step is not taken by father, I'm afraid they will rot in jail. My worry is that father isn't doing much about this. People are speaking ill of him. I even exited much of the major platforms because people are, the low level uh, leadership of father is discussed everywhere. It worries me too. I'm afraid to say father has become a weak king. Weak? What went wrong? See, the father that we both know used to be a very strong king. And he wouldn't hesitate to wield a big brick when necessary. Where is he? Well, he... He stepped out with Okodili. And mother? She's in her chamber. Yes, my good friend. <laughs> it's been it's been like it's been quite long. Yes, I'm fine. And how is your family? Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I am actually I'm calling because I I need a favor from you. Your men, uh, your men. I call them your men because they are police officers. They invaded my, my Umuduna kingdom and arrested some boys. Significant number of boys without any reason. And uh, these boys have been in detention ever since. Yes, we have actually made some effort towards releasing them. But what I found out is that someone somewhere is engineering this uh, this attack on Umuduno. And this person, for whatever reason, wants these boys to, to go to jail. Y yes. I, I don't know. And that is why I'm calling you. Because uh, I, I, I want those boys to be released back to their parents. Some of them are actually the breadwinners of their families. Oh, if you do this for me, I will forever remain grateful. <laughs> what are friends for? That's why I'm calling you, because I know what you can do. 
Okay? So, uh, when I... When am I expecting their release? Oh, good. Good. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. I will keep you posted. Whatever thing that happens, I will keep you posted. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is exactly what the king is supposed to be doing as king. Not promising us I will do something, I will do something, and he is not doing anything. The only thing I've done all this while is to pray. My husband is not ready to change his style of leadership. And it's given the citizens reason to believe he's not committed to their welfare and safety. All right, I'll still speak with him. But please make it a point of duty to pray for this kingdom. We need it now more than ever. This is the hut, the abode of the ancient temple. I'm still surprised, Your Majesty. You still left your fork in this place. It will easily be stayed. Exactly what I said. But my father, the king, insisted that. The ancient bees kept watch over this ox. And now we are here in this lonely afternoon and the bees are not here. These things are not physical, my dear. If you dare go into those huts, you will see them descend on you. But do not try because they surely will sting you to death. So, Wapanda, you came highly recommended. Is there something you can do to retrieve your fall. <laughs> your Majesty, the offer was not stolen, but it was taken. But I can perform some ritual, for it may come back. Whatever it will take, just do it. Eh? I will pay whatever you charge me. There is nothing hidden under the sun that a panda will not see. I pray all your powers that are loyal to a panda. Open my eyes for me to see the offer. Guide my footsteps. I'm sorry, mother, I can't marry her. Can you tell me why? She is not my class. <laughs> what part of her body exactly is not in your class? Everything about her. You're making a big mistake saying that. Mother, there are no mistakes. She can't measure up to me. So when you were opening her legs and finding your way in there, you did not realize she was not in your class? And I was reliably informed it happened several times. And now you're standing there telling me she is not in my class. Well, we only had fun. And it ended there. Really? You only had fun and ended there. Let me tell you something. Let me break a news to you. That fun is going to extend and continue into marriage. I will never. I will never marry her. Well, I, I, can, I can take care of her until the baby comes. But after that, she will leave. Are you listening to yourself? So what happens to that child she's carrying? It's none of my business. Oh, of course it is your business. That child she's carrying is royalty. And you and I know how royalty should be treated. Or oh, don't we? Oh, Panda, I know you might have encountered something strange that made you run away. 
What was that? The gods of your land are angry. Did they tell you why? They have warned me not to say anything about this issue anymore. Uh, but even if you want to discontinue, can you at least tell me the location of that offer so that I can do whatever I can to retrieve it myself? Standing here talking about this offer is not even good for me. I don't know what you have done. It's like the gods have rejected you. What do you mean by that? They cannot reject me. The gods cannot reject me for I am already the king. In fact, nobody can reject me. I will remain king till I join my ancestors. I wish you best of luck, Onyeze. But I don't want to be part of this anymore. What is with you? Opanda! 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 Oloma, Oloma, why did you report the matter to mother? What matter are you referring? Musabe's pregnancy. Yes, I, I actually told her so she could talk some senses into you because if I should pick up that case, you may end up in jail. Is that a threat or what? Chijindu. You know me very well. And you know the extent I could go getting justice from Zube. Okay. I want you and mother to know that you can force a horse to the river, but you cannot force it to drink water. Yeah. Well, it depends. Now listen. I don't love that girl. She is not my kind of woman. <laughs> Listen to yourself and then let her, she is not my kind of woman. Yet, you threw your moral justification without any sexual discipline and went down with her. Isn't that wickedness? No, no, wait, 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 please, let me understand you. Is it constitutional that I must marry a girl I got pregnant? Last time I discussed with you about this, I didn't say it's a must, you must marry her. I said, you must take responsibility for your actions. But mother is saying something different. She's insisting I must marry her. <laughs> Congratulations. You have a wife. That's mother. She knows what is good for her son. Mm -hmm. I will never marry her. But I will take responsibilities for my action. Good. Go sort that out with your mom. Okay, you will never marry her. But you went down with her. Coming down here to give me roots. Charles. Mama. You may not like what I'm about to tell you. But I must say it. You always have something to say. So what do you have to say this time around? Charles, I feel you committed a blunder by allowing those visitors in. What do you mean by blunder? Are you suggesting I should have left those people outside? What are you saying? You should have told them that the king is not in the palace. They should go and come back. Do you even know who they are? Who are they? They are representatives of a reputable oil company and they are here for business. If you're in your right senses, you won't suggest I should leave them outside. Charles, I bet you the king will be very angry with you. <laughs> Let that be my worry. Let that be my problem. Face what concerns you. I'm just trying to save your head. Save yours first. I can never marry that girl. What will I tell my friends? that I married an ordinary palace maid? God forbid. What do I do? Maybe I should have bought this pregnancy indirectly and this saga will end. How do I achieve this?
Thank you, Your Majesty. My name is Pascal. I'm Geraldine. My name is Luke. You are all welcome to Omoduno Kingdom. Thank you. So how may I help you? We are from High Zone Oil Company. We deal on oil exploration, refining and exploitation. It's okay. And what are you doing in Omoduno Kingdom? Your Majesty, we discovered oil in your community. And we want to go into a partnership with you. Oil, based on the laws of the Federation, is vested on the federal government. I don't even know why you will be asking me for partnership. We are not even aware of the oil. Your Majesty, we approached you because we believe we can work perfectly with you. You see, it is the same arrangement we have with other kingdoms in the south. And we have the technology to do our exploration and exploitation without any authority knowing about it. I will add immediately to what she just said, Your Highness. Your community will be very rich if you will agree to do business with us. Honestly, I love the sound of that. So how do I come in? Allow us to mine your oil, Your Highness. And we'll give you the defined percentage of the profits every month. Okay. You should allow me to discuss this with my cabinet members and get back to you. It's all right, Your Majesty. So, when exactly are we expecting to get a feedback? Probably by next week, Monday. Oh, Your Highness, I must say that I am very impressed. So, Father, what do they want? They discovered oil in our community. They want to commence exploration. Wow. For that means we are made. Our kingdom will be the richest in this local government. You're right, son. Wow. But there's problem. What problem? The son you know, the staff of the kings is missing. Father, what has that got to do with this business on ground? Without the staff, I cannot take decision on serious matters. Father, don't let that bother you. All we have to do is put in more effort in finding the staff. If we can find the staff, we can do business with the oil company. And an idea just came to me. Father, tell me about it. What if we summon some able-bodied young men and make mouth-watering promises to them if they can find the staff? Hmm. Mm, Father, that sounds nice. But I need to know the promises you have for them that will make them do it. Something like, if you can find the staff, I'll share my inheritance into two and give you one. Or, I can give out my daughter's hand in marriage to you. I don't think any young man can resist such promises. For it makes sense, but there will be a clause to that. What kind of clause? And Father, first of all, I will summon the young men. Then we can discuss extensively before they arrive. That's right. Okay, summon them. All right, all right. <laughs> Gotten his way pregnant. So I hate though. I am still surprised. Funny enough, the queen is insisting he must marry her. It's a lie. That's Are you serious? Exactly what you heard. But I wish I am the one the prince got pregnant. Hello? Are you normal? Of course I am normal. Of course I am normal. In fact, I am more than normal. Do you know what Uzbe stands to gain? I know what she stands to gain. But you should not wish yourself bad simply because you want to be attached to royalty. Who does that? Wait a minute. Did you just refer to getting pregnant for the prince as a bad thing? Yes, I said it. And I'm saying it again. Do you know the trauma Uzube is passing through because of that pregnancy? Okay. What if 
The prince refuses. I chose to discuss with you first before involving other elders because you understand me better. Thank you very much, Your Majesty, for the compliment. And I will always be with you. I know you will. That's why I want to open up to you. Earlier today, the agents from the High Zone Oil Company visited me. They said they discovered oil in our land. <laughs> your Majesty, that's good news. Good news, Your Majesty. They said they want to commence exploration immediately and be paying us a defined percentage monthly. <laughs> that's the normal thing, Your Majesty. That is the way business is done and we have to charge them properly. Now, doing business with them is the problem. How do you mean, Your Majesty? My staff of authority is missing. So, why are you here? To check on my crush. Or oh, is it wrong to check on my crush? Your what? My crush. <laughs> <laughs> don't start with me, oh. I don't get it. Me, I know who is the crusher and the crushy here. I know. It will be very deceitful of you to try to insinuate that you have been crushing when I know I am the one that I've been doing the crushing. Oh, 